Hello and welcome to Experimental Statistics 1. My name is Moni McGee and I am the lead instructor and course designer for, for this course. I received my PhD at Rice University in Houston, Texas. My research has been in the design and analysis of DNA sequencing data and also gene expression data. These data are extraordinarily large, or they come from extraordinarily large data sets. We're talking gigabytes or even terabytes and sometimes even petabytes of data. There are many observations in each set and a lot of the times the data are prone to error. But I really enjoy doing research in this area. It's taught me even more than I could possibly have known about my own discipline. And it's really, the an advent of these data have really changed the discipline of statistics for, in many ways. The course itself is about statistics from an experimental design perspective. The design of the experiment is important for determining which methods we can use, but it's also important to design an experiment in order to get good data in the first place. So we need to be very careful about how we gather data because we need to understand how that data is going to be used later on, whether we're talking about use for a practical application or just use for statistical methods in itself. I believe experimental design is even more important when you're talking about large data sets. We may have unlimited access to data. However, we want to use that data in the most efficient and appropriate way possible. So knowing how to design an experiment is going to be a keystone of this course. In particular, there are a couple of methods though that I really am excited about teaching. One of those is nonparametric statistics. I use that a lot in my own research but it's something that you may not have seen before, even if you have had a statistics course. Nonparametric statistics involves data methods that do not assume that we have a normal distribution for the population. Rather, they make very little assumptions on the data, and a lot of them involve random sampling and permutations of the data. There's a very different way of thinking about how to analyze data. We're also going to talk about multiple linear regression. And that's something that sometimes is in a first course and sometimes not in a first course in statistics. Multiple linear regression is a very powerful technique that can involve how multiple explanatory variables can be used in a model to explain a response of interest. I really hope you enjoy this course. I believe that statistics is the foundation of data science itself. And it's also the foundation for other courses and curriculum. So thank you for joining us.